there are GMO foreign proteins in our food since 1996. They first started in the milk, and then they put them in soy and corn, which is in everything that we eat. I was shocked that these foreign proteins were in our food without our knowledge, without our permission, and without labeling. There's three kinds of GMOs. The first one, it's called BT toxin. It's either in corn or soy or cottonseed. It is genetically engineered to constantly reproduce this BT toxin. When the bug eats, let's just say, the corn, its stomach explodes from this constantly reproducing BT toxin. So it's a registered pesticide with the EPA, and we're eating this corn. The second one is Roundup Ready. The plant has been genetically engineered to withstand Roundup. They can spray it with all the Roundup they want, which is an herbicide at the tune of five billion pounds a year, and it doesn't die. So our food won't die, but everything else around it dies. The bugs, the worms in the soil, all the weeds. And the good can, bacteria in the, the soil. The good bacteria, it soaks into the plant and it does not wash off. The problem with that is that there's a chemical in it called glyphosate, which destroys our gut bacteria. 70% of our immune system is there. Without that gut bacteria, we can't produce tryptophan. Without tryptophan, our bodies don't produce serotonin. Without serotonin, we can't regulate blood sugar. Diabetes now, which is hugely on the rise, cost our federal government $279 billion a year. And just to put that in perspective, $514 billion is what is spent on all of our health issues combined, including cancer. The projection is that in 13 years, we will not have money for any other health care at all, except for diabetes. We will not have a health care system.